So the first of two novice chases next in. This is the Worcester novices chase. Even though it's not at Worcester, it's at Newbury. Uh, this one is over three miles, I think. Yep, grade two. And the top one is Battle of the Hot Gates, Joshua Sutherland. Hot Port, Paul Rhodes, Aero Love, Molliette Surfer, Celestial Lights, Ghost Zapper, James Gray, Derek Hinton, Mare Days, Darren Thompson, Moon Harbour, Jim Murray and Triple Play, Thunderspark. So just eight then. And away they go. On their way towards the first fence. And Celestial Lights is the one that takes them already the least. They're all safely over the first then. 18 more to take. A stiff test for these novices. Look at these Newbury fences. And Celestial Lights is the leader. From Battle of the Hot Gates. And then here, Port Nero Dove as they take the second. And then all safely over that one as well. Good jump at the back by James Gray. Seeing that one go past Mare Days, who's now the back marker. So Celestial Lights it is then in the lead from Hot Port in second. In Aero Love is third with on the inside of that one Battle at the Hot Gates, Moon Harbour to the outside, those three sort of darker coloured horses together and the grey right behind them, triple play and James Grey and finally Mare Days. So Celestial Lights in the lead then. My good three lengths as they come to the third. And we'll safely over that one with Celestial Lights leading by four lengths to Hot Port in second. Then a little gap to Aero Love in third. The inside rail is held by Battle of the Hot Gates. Moon Harbour's on the outside of that one. Then Triple Play the Great. James Gray, who's not great. And then Mare Days at the back, who we hope is a mare. So it's Celestial Lights in front. By about five now, as they take the fourth. And putting some pace to this race to the leader. With Hot Port chasing as they take that big ditch. And Mare Days and James Grove just dropped out a shot. I think the pace is a little bit hot for them at the moment. And Celestial Lights is set in that pace as they take the next and a mistake there by the Molliette Server Horse Aero Love. I see that one just lose a couple of lengths. But Celestial Lights is certainly giving them a test at this stage as they take the next. And then all over that one, okay. And Celestial Lights lead is down to about three lengths though. But Hot Port chases in second. Battle at the Hot Gates is third. Then comes Triple Play as they take the water. Then Aero lobbies after that one. And then Moon Harbour, Mare Days, and finally James Gray, the back marker. So they're well strung out with 15 furlongs to race. And Celestial, Celestial Lights is the leader from Hot Port in second. Battle at the Hot Gates and Triple Play. Then Moon Harbour and Aero Love, Mare Days, and James Gray. Past the winning post then. One more circuit to go. Take this long sweeping left hand turn. You can see the next fence in the distance. Long run to that one. And Celestial Lights is in front. From Hot Port second. These two are about four or five lengths clear then there of triple play and battle at the hot gates as they take the next good jump there by Battle of the Hot Gates. I've seen that one go clear third. Celestial Lights is now being joined by Hot Port. Now, no, I don't know what's happened there. Battle of the Hot Gates has just been pulled up. He just jumped that last fence superbly well, and he's now been pulled up. So I really don't know what's gone on there. I presume there must be something wrong with him as they take the next uh, drama in the Worcester Novices chase. Then, as Battle at the Hot Gates, one of the fancied horses, I should presume, has been pulled up as they take the next one. And the leader made a mistake there. And, the, and another one's being pulled up. This is rather strange today. Triple play. Another one who was in a good position being pulled up. So the pull-ups are something of a problem in this race, I think, as they take the next. And Hot Port and Celestial Lights dispute the lead. From Aero Love and Moon Harbour. And then Mare Days and James Grove have been right out the back and out of it. At least one of them is going to pick up some prize money if they get around. And Celestial, oh, another one! Well, oh, goodness me, Moon Harbour's been pulled up now. This is a strange phrase I've commentated on for some time with the pull ups. There's been some odd ones in the Hunter Chases this season, which personally I've put down to the fact that the tracks are pretty undulating. But this is Newbury, you wouldn't be expecting three horses to pull up in con when they're really still in contention to win the race. It's um, there'll be some trainers tearing their hair out there, I would think. Yes. 
Moon Harbour triple play and battle at the hot gates have all departed the race when seemingly going well enough and the leader making mistakes is still in the race so Hot Port has now taken it up though Celestial Lights is on the inside in second then comes Hero Love third and a big gap back to Mere Days and James Gray who are now both going to pick up a little bit of pocket money if they get round and it looks like Mere Days has got ideas of getting a little bit more than that because it's tacking onto the leading group so, four furlongs to go. This is the 15th fence. Another mistake by Aero Love from Oliet Surfer. I uh, see Mare Days moving to third. This is the third last, the final ditch. And it's Hot Port and Celestial Lights being chased by Aero Love and Mare Days. I think we can say James Gray's going to be fifth, but these four are now virtually in a line as they come down towards the second last. And over it they go. And Aero Love, despite a pretty shoddy jump, and he's now in the lead. Quickly pressed now by Hot Love. Celestial Lights has given all and he's dropping away. But it's Aero Love and Hot Port coming down to the second last. Over it they go. And Aero Love's in the lead from Hot Port. Mare Days running a strange race in third. Then comes Celestial Lights in fourth. This is the last. It's the water jump. And it's Aero Love in the lead. Hero Love from Hot Port and Mare Days. Over it they go. Hero Love's over it in the lead. Being chased by Hot Port and Mare Days. And then comes Celestial Lights. They've still got a further to go. Hero Love's in the lead. Mare Days has been quietly sat at the back all the way around. And he's now coming to charge for the lead. Hero Love from Mare Days. Mare Days is beginning to get up on the outside. He needs the line now. One on the inside. Hero Love's just holding on. And up towards the line. It's going to be Hero Love. He's just going to take it from Mare Days. And then Hot Port and Celestial Lights. And then James Gray. And what a strange race that was. With celestial lights in the lead most of the way, three horses who seemingly were going perfectly okay pulling up, and Mare Days sat out the back, 20 lengths off the lead, quite a lot, lot of the race nearly gets up and wins it. So, if the uh, Hennessy can live up to that, we should have a good race later on. But Aero Love takes it for Molly at Surfer, Mare Days is second for Darren Thompson, Hot Port third for Paul Rhodes, Celestial Lights fourth for Ghost Zapper, and James Gray for Derek Hinton got round for fifth to pick himself up a nice hand at 800 quid. <laughs>